Hi everyone. So, this is the Zico Spitfire. This is the first actual 100% wave specific foil on the market, I think. Um, and I've had last sort of week to test it. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with what Zico has done. So let's get straight into some things. All right, first of all, it's an aluminum foil with G10 wings and it's a canard configuration, which means that the stabilizer is actually in the front. Okay, this foil is actually a little bit lighter than the standard Zico aluminum foils. It comes in at 3.7 kilos. The mast is, on this one, is a 91 centimeter mast. The fuselage is 62 centimeters long. Um, the wings, uh, front to back, are 45 centimeters apart. The front wing or the big wing actually now it's called the, the back wing is 45 centimeters span the back or the stabilizer has a 32 centimeter span oh, another thing I'd like to talk about is the new plate on here you see that it's an open plate this is really easy to install if you have a track system you can leave the screws in the tracks and they just basically put the plate on and you slide them over and then tighten them it's really easy the plate is still uh, compatible with 90 millimeter spacing, 90 by 16 and a half, and the 85 millimeter spacing that was standard on the older Zico boards. Um, so, still a very bar style system. This will fit almost every single board on the market. Um, let's talk a little bit about what a canard foil is, or a canard sort of aircraft. So, if we have a look at it, you have your lifting wing now in the back. It's not the wrong way around. It's actually supposed to meant to be in the back. And you have your stabilizer in the front. Now, will this thing fly completely differently? No. Canard foils essentially still have the center of lift in the exact same uh, area. The only thing that really changes is how sensitive the front of your board will be to front foot input. I'll get to that later when we talk about the right characteristics. Now, um, on a traditional foil, the stabilizer has a negative angle of attack and a negative, uh, negative profile most of the time, meaning it's upside down, because it needs to push down to counter the uh, pitching moment. That means, if imagine now this is a, a traditional foil, so this would now be the front wing, stabilizer in the back, um, the foil will always have a tendency to try to pitch down, and of course, the back wing will have to push down you know, pitch your craft or basically pitch the foil back up. Now, on the counter now, you still would have a forward pitching moment. Yeah, and of course, now that the stabilizer is in the front, it will need to lift. So now you have two working lifting wings. So in theory, you should have the same amount of lift with the smaller um, lifting wing in the back. Okay, now let's talk about how this sort of works. So. The only real difference that I notice is how the foil reacts to your front foot steering. If you've been foiling before, you'll notice that um, traditional foils are back foot sensitive, which means if you push hard on your back foot, it will react quite quickly to that input. Now a canard is the opposite, it means if you push quite hard on your front foot, it'll react quite fast, if you push on your back foot, it won't react as quickly. So there is a bit more dampening, let's say, on your back foot than there would be on a traditional foil. Um, so now, it actually when you speed up, you have a lot less pressure on your front foot. And that, care, and that turns into a sort of really nice turning foil. This is why this foil is so great in waves. You can really speed down a wave, slam into a bottom turn without the front foot pressure increasing exponentially on your front foot. Um, now, however, that also works itself out when you're sort of um, water starting. Um, you have to be a bit more sensitive to what you're doing with your front foot. Um, your muscle memory will tell you to put a lot of your weight on the front, which doesn't quite work on this foil. If you leave it alone and you actually push a little bit more on your back foot um, on your water start, that's a lot more stable. Once you're up and going at speed, um, the pressure is fairly normal, um, it's 50-50. Front foot pressure also increases with speed, so uh, it's when it's when you're riding it, you'll get used to that pretty quickly. The only difference is when you're actually maneuvering and water starting. 
Now, Nico says that um, this has the same amount of lift as the standard uh, free ride foil. I don't 100% agree with that. I feel it needs a little bit more power uh, to get going a little bit more speed. Um, marginally, we're talking about one or two knots. Where it's, uh, if you have a big kite, you'll have to, have to get a bit more speed before you get up. Um, if you're trying this for the first time, take a bigger kite, okay? Just to get used to it. Once you're used to it, you just have to be a bit more active with um, your kite to get up than you would with a traditional foil, like with the black and white, for example. But essentially, yeah, you're not losing too much performance, just a little bit. Now, when this thing is riding, the things that are really great besides the turning is the stalling, stall characteristics. Sure, it has a, a lot higher stall speed, but it's almost impossible to ventilate the main wing. You can really lean it, really push hard, and even if you breach with uh, what the, either the back or the front wing, uh, it recovers really quickly. Another bonus that I found is jumping with this thing is a lot easier than with a traditional foil. First off, that's because you can basically pressure your back foot a lot more, so it's a bit more natural to pop uh, out of the water by pushing with your back foot. So you really, you know, eject the foil out of the water by pushing on the back foot. Whereas with the traditional foil, you have to um, keep some pressure on your front foot to stop the foil from overreacting or stalling out before you jump. And landing is a lot easier. Um, yeah, there's a lot less area on the front, so if you land a bit flat, it just poof, it just goes in. There's almost no real kick to that landing. It's really easy just to dive the foil in and go. So, um, yeah, jumping is a lot better on a foil like this than a traditional foil. Now, a lot of guys have been asking, oh, is it fast, is it slow? It's fast, this thing likes going fast. And the great thing about it is, um, it's comfortable at speed. It's really easy to ride this thing at 25 knots plus still strapless. Uh, I still actually have to put it on a race kite and put some straps on the board and really, really push it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can probably get up to almost the same speeds as a, as a race foil. Um, the only thing it definitely doesn't have with a small wing like that is it doesn't have the angle um, upwind. Um, from a race foil. That is obviously your trade-off of having such small wings. But that doesn't mean that um, if somebody makes a race version with a very big, efficient uh, back wing, it might actually be faster than traditional ones. We just have to see what happens in the future. Okay, I hope you liked the video. I hope um, it gave you a little bit of an overview of the Zico Spitfire Wave foil. As always, if you like the video, please click like. Uh, Support the channel by subscribing to it. Um, and I'll see you next time. Have fun on the water.